Today is January the 18th, 2018, and uh, I'm going to show you guys something that I think you might find useful if you don't already know this. I did uh, scour the uh, YouTube uh, subjects and see if, I, if there was anything already posted doing exactly what I'm going to do now, and I did not find it. So I want to show you something. Okay, suppose you want to measure something really low in current, like this little guy right here. This thing is driving, oh, uh, I don't want to get into these details, it's just driving this little uh, RF amplifier right here. I mean, you know this thing is going to be really low power. But I want to know how much power this thing's drawing. Plug it in, see, it, it turns on, I think you can see a little green light right there. Yeah, okay, well let's say I want to measure it, but I don't have uh, a whole lot of sophisticated instruments. What I might do, one of the things that I've built and have used a number of times is a simple device like this. I just split the wires and I measure the current around the black wire with a clamp on ammeter. I'm using this clamp on ammeter right here. Something I got at um, Lowe's, I suppose. It says zero, zero, zero. Okay. Well, if I plug this guy in, and I put this clamp on that meter around it. We'll have to get over here and get down really close. You can see it's measuring either two or three. Kind of flips between them. Well, actually, it's pretty steady at three right now. So that's 30 milliamps. But maybe you'd like to read it a little bit closer. Well, I'll get right to the point. This is actually very easy to turn these little inexpensive uh, clamp-on ammeters into some pretty sensitive instruments. And all it takes is a little bit of wire. All you have to do, and there's nothing special about it, this is just some number 14 wire. Depending on how many turns, if I measure, the, if I have current flowing through this wire right here, and I put this ammeter on it, it's going to measure, what I'm measuring here, it's going to measure 0.3. If I put two turns in it like that, so that there's actually two turns, and there's nothing special about it. it. Does not have to be a certain diameter. It does not have to be a certain size wire. As long as there's two loops in there, it'll measure twice as much. If I put three turns, it'll measure three times as much. You can see where I'm going with this pretty quick, huh? Well, that's three turns. Four, five, whoops. I don't lost count. Anyway, let me wind this thing, and I'll come back and I'll show you. I'm going to wind it exactly 10 turns. You want to start like, there. there's one turn right there. You know, from the straight wire up. Like I say, you don't have to make it any certain diameter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Okay, well I got a I got a long one there because I guess I made the loop bigger a while ago. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna lock this thing down at ten turns. I'm gonna put a uh, you would not want to put wire around this. You want to put something non-conductive. So I've locked it down. So I've got ten turns of wire right there. I'm gonna put one more to uh, kind of lock it into place. Nothing fancy about it at all. But um, right now, if I put this thing in series with this, and what I'm going to do is stop the camera, and I'm actually going to add it in here as a keeper. And I'm, I'm going to leave it in there, and and you'll see exactly what it does. I'll be able to really demonstrate it that way. So let me let me enter this into that, and I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, I've got it uh, just spliced in there. I think I'm going to lock it down here and, and uh, keep it like that. And look, you'll be able to see here when I clamp it around there. See, I get my uh, point two. I think the uh, camera's seeing that. Point oh three, 30 milliamps, or is it 20 milliamps, or is it 30 milliamps? Who knows? But this is just simply 10 turns. I mean, there's absolutely nothing fancy about it. But when I clamp it around there, now it says it's 31 or 30. 
Now you got to know that you're multiplying it times 10. It's not really 0.3 amps. It's 0.03 amps, but it actually is 30 milliamps. So you can measure really low power stuff. If I unplug it here, see, it's going to go to zero. Isn't that simple and neat? And there's obviously uh, commercial ones made out of it, uh, made for this purpose. And I uh, have one right here. This one is made by our defunct Radio Shack that exists no more. Back out here a little bit. And it's the same thing. All they've done, this one's got a times one, which, uh, well, we've got to plug something into it, don't we? And it plugs in over here like that in series, but let me unplug this so it doesn't look so confusing. And there we have our point three back. I believe we can see that. And if we put it in the times 10, see we get our 30. So anyhow, for something so simple that you may or may not have been aware of, and it allows you something you can whip up in, in, a, in just, you know, five minutes or less. Clamp it around here, you got times one, clamp it around there, you got ten times ten. Or times five, whatever you want to do. Just put five loops in it for times five. Or two loops in it for times two. Depending on what your uh, meter's for. And then you can measure very small uh, very small items and, and know exactly how much current they draw. Sometimes you might want to know that. Who knows? Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.